G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here, back with more Solister Crown of the Magister. Uh, when we last left off, we were, well, obviously still in Kerr Kaflin, getting ready. We just, no, we have not gone to the council after retrieving the Sorak head. So that is what we're going to do right now. Yes. Well, as right now, as in as soon as this finishes loading. Any moment now. There we go. We have a truckload of stuff that we need to sell. Uh, and it wants us to go to the Gravecast Keep. So we'll quick travel just because we're so lazy that that's the way we're going to do things. Uh, I want everyone back with their missile weapons. There we go. And let's go talk to Lord Karen. Lord Karen. Ah, deputies. So, have you brought us the head of a Sorak? One head, slightly damaged. Marike, preserve us. I'm sorry I asked. You should have seen it alive. I can only imagine. When's the next council meeting? When? But now, of course, the rumor of your return has already reached the palace. They're waiting for you. They are? Well, more for this. But come on. Now there's a trophy. And by the way, who's crazy now? All right. You were right, we were wrong. They do exist. Happy now? Kid, I've seen more than anyone in this town, yet nobody seems to believe me. Maybe it's a curse. <laughs> the curse of being surrounded by idiots. If you don't mind, Merton, we have business to attend to. Right. Say hello to the old lady for me, Karen. Who's this guy again? Arwin Merton. He used to be a legend. The first scavenger, they say. But now, well, you can see for yourself. Who's this old lady? Just ignore him. Let's go. Your thoughts, Dean Basek? I, uh, well, it looks very much as the scriptures describe. Well then, it seems we have a problem. It's a disaster. We all know what the Sora Akat did on Tirmar. There's something else. What? A crown? Hmm, interesting. A very nice find. We don't want to sell it. Why not? You know we pay well. We want to keep it. I'd like to take a look at it, though. Come on. Let them take a look. Thank you. Any ideas? It's quite massive. Clearly Imperial in style. These ruins remind me of the Imperial schools of magic. I have a spell I'd like to cast on this. My lords. This deputy is clearly unwell. What? <sighs> yes, well. What happened? You passed out. Where are we? The Temple of Anar. Marshal Beric Sunblaze himself invited us to stay here. He certainly made an impression on the council. They believe you're attuned to the crown, that you can't be separated from it. What? So it is cursed. They're not sure. All these big brains and they're stumped. They cast spells on the crown, on you. Between that and the Sorax, we cause quite a fuss out there. They'll reconvene the council when you're ready. But trust me, there's a lot of people who want to talk to you first.
Yes, there is, isn't there? I don't think I've ever looked up this way before. Massive architecture. Not much privacy as far as bedrooms go. But then again, if this is some sort of infirmary... Lord Sunblaze, thank you for your hospitality. It's the least we can do for the deputies who prove that there are still Sorax on Celasta. You've proved we cannot relax our vigilance. Did you find anything else that could help us track them? There was a parchment. If you find it, send for the char. You can read that? That last word, it's not Tamarian. It's in the Sorakath tongue. I knew it. It means general. You were wise to run. If you find anything else connected to the Sor Akath or their allies, bring it to the temple. Talk to Chaplain Delan Lark. You will be well rewarded. Whenever you're ready, the council will meet again. It's an honor, deputies. Who are you? My name is Maddie Green Isle. I work for the Tower of Knowledge. I'm just a junior aide in the council, but if you ever need to contact my superiors without going through official channels, just see me at the Tower, downtown. Why the sudden interest in us? You proved yourselves in the Badlands. Now, we in the Tower of Knowledge value skilled adventurers. If you find anything of historical value, we'll pay well. And you know, if things go well, we might share some of our own secrets. All right. We'll think about it. And then you're going to want to talk to us. Uh, <clears throat> Can I ask for a minute of your time, deputies? We're in kind of a hurry. I know. I won't delay you long. My name is Hedlund Shorespell. I represent the Arcaneum. And the Arcaneum belongs to the New Empire. Do you really want to be seen talking to us? Uh, my business is magic, not politics. And no, I have no quarrel with you. You may not see us Imperials as friends, but we take the Council very seriously. We are particularly interested in anything from the Old Empire that you might find in the Badlands. Anything from the Manakelan era Arcaneum. Even more so. Oh, of course, we'd pay you handsomely for this crown. Although, I know that's not possible. You're smarter than you look. Also quite indifferent to mockery. Anyway, we have an unrivaled trove of magical and other knowledge. I think it's over. You can find me at the Gravekeep's cask. Really? Not at the embassy? What can I say? I love Martel's beer. Even though it tastes like donkey piss. What? How did he? That was our joke the first day we met. Was he spying on us? Maybe he just agrees about the taste. Indeed. G'day, Shadow Wing. How you doing? Would you have a moment, deputies? All right, but make it quick. I'll do my best. I am Joyel Foxy. From the circle of Thanks for that. The same magic school where the princess studies? Exactly. Is she a good student? A powerful wizard? 
That's not for me to say. And you seemed to be in a rush? Fine. I just want you to know that our Grand Master Edvin Denantar has noticed you. He talks a lot, for sure. He's a man of great authority. He'd like you to know that our doors are open to you if you'd care to visit us. You can find it's me a great at the police court. Interested in Badlands treasures, I suppose, like everyone else. Well, if you ever come across old spell books or spell scrolls, we'd love to see them. In return, we have the largest collection of spells and potion recipes you could ever hope to see. More than the Arcanean? They would disagree, but yes. Now, if you were to prefer feeding the New Empire's wizards with more magical knowledge than the Principality, that would be yeah, a... Yeah, we'll just have to see what races they're going to add. Council. Neutrality means we don't treat you any differently than we treat them. Of course. Neutrality is the rule. Good day to you, deputies. That's where we are. Right. In that case, let's go and sell some stuff to Gorham. Did I have anything I need to identify first? Might be a good thing to check up on. Uh, because... do have detect magic, so let's see if there's any... Oh, look how low I am on crossbow bolts. Uh, do we have anything we need to identify? That's all good. That's all fine. This is a very good representation from what I can see of 5th edition... D&D rules. Um, in particular, some of the stuff that I like that they have implemented is the whole uh, combat reaction system where you can, rather than making an attack, you can sacrifice your action for the round and queue up either a melee attack, a missile attack, or a cantrip attack. About the only thing I would like, and I don't, I can't even remember if it's in the 5th edition rules, I'd have to go and look it up, but um, I'd like to be able to, as a spellcaster, actually put aside either a particular cantrip, which I'm sure is possible here, but also an actual spell that you, you know, get ready for combat, for um, uh, a reaction. Um, although, you know, certain spells don't make good for doing reactions, such as um, Fireball, for example, but it would still be good to be able to do things like that. Okay, so... Yeah, we didn't find any other magical items that we needed to identify, so that's good. So let's just sell up. I'm actually looking, I'm looking at this game right now, and to me, this is the spiritual successor to the Neverwinter Nights 1 and 2. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, homebrew rules, some people would, would let you do that, others would not. Um, yeah, I see this game as the spiritual successor to Neverwinter Nights. It has the same attention to detail for the rules as what Neverwinter Nights did. And it just, even though it doesn't, you know, look great. I mean, it looks good. There's no doubt about that. But it's not great when you compare it to, you know, a lot of other games that are around right now. It doesn't have you know, the level of graphics of a lot of other really current games. It still has, you know, okay graphics, and importantly, it just... They've done so much right with 
the game. They've got really good... Um, I feel like they've got really good level design in the game. Like, one of the problems I had with Baldur's Gate 3 is the level design. I feel like um, a lot of it was... Or is this is not letting me scroll down far enough to see all my items that I've got to sell. There's another item down there, and it won't let me do it. Um, I feel like one of the problems with Baldur's Gate Three is their level design oops, is a little bit poor, and and actually, it's I think it's more a Larian Studios thing because when I think about and I I'm not hugely experienced on the Divinity games, I've played a bit of Divinity Original Sin 1, um, and I played that just before Baldur's Gate 3 came out. Uh, but it looks, to me, like that game, Original Sin, uh, the level design there was rather difficult as well. Baldur's Gate 3 has, like, it's a very difficult game, you are always coming up against fights that are very, very hard. Um, you are not given a lot of um, of leeway. Some fights, you only really get through them because you lucked out. Like, that's, that's the way it, it seems to me. You, you get through it because you were lucky and you just happened to make the right rolls at the right time. But without that, you would not have made it. Um, and that's that's the sort of... That's the way I take that game. It, it, it And Baldur's Gate 3 is exactly the same. It's really hard. There's so many combat uh, situations you come across where you are in over your head and that's it. That's just the way it's going to be. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But this game... The fights are hard, but they don't feel like they're just continually out to screw you every single time. Like, every single battle that I go to in Baldur's Gate 3, there's some, there feels like there's something else in there where they're deliberately just trying to screw you over and make the game as hard as possible. Um, and I don't enjoy that in a game. Um... But this game has been a joy to play. Yes, there are bugs, but Clear skies, my I love friends. it. Do you know Arwin Merton, the so-called first scavenger? Of course. That's it. Merton. It's a painful topic for me. I'd rather not talk about him. Fair enough. Okay. Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Stay in the light, my friends. So, what I want to do... Um, I think we're going to sell as much as we can to the Circle of Danatar first. And then we'll see what else we can sell to the other places. So, if we're going to sell to them, they are up here, right there, good day to you deputies, good day to you deputies, that's it, you're not going to talk to us, we want to sell you stuff, good day to you deputies, oh, we have to return to the council, Okay. That wasn't immediately obvious. 
Um, here we go. Greetings, Sorak Slayers. Hello. I am Halman Summer of the Guild of Antiquarians. I'm instructed to invite you to visit us at the Embassy of the Snow Alliance. You're based at an embassy? I thought the council was neutral. We don't have a house of our own in Kaya Kiflin, unlike the Tower of Knowledge. How about that for neutrality? Anyway, we'd be interested in any antiquities you might bring back. We pay very well, even for things you might think are worthless. Like the scavengers? The scavengers? Well, they'd sell an antique emperor's sword for its metal value. But we can offer more than gold. Antique magical items, for instance. You'll never find their like elsewhere. Good to know. Thanks for the invitation. Honorable council members, please take your seats. Ah, our crown bearer is up again. Lord Danantar has the floor. Thank you. I have confirmed that our deputy is indeed magically attuned to the crown. It is uh, an uncommonly powerful attunement, unlike anything I've seen. I strongly recommend against forcing a separation. Chancellor Gorm's daughter? With the Council's permission, I'd like to try a little experiment. I have here the gem that Captain Merrin recovered recently. I have reason to believe that it might be... <gasps> As I suspected, it belongs to the Crown. What have you done? Commander, take Her Royal Highness to safety. No, wait! Ah, uh, yes. This battle. So we got lay on hands, which we're not going to bother with. Mm, lesser restoration, aid, bane, and then there I've got branding smite. And shield of faith. So let's do shield of faith on ourselves. There we go. Don't know why it won't let us do another spell, but anyway.
leave that for the moment. Let's kill him. And then try and kill him. Very good. And then we're going to disengage and move back to there. Just give ourselves a little bit of room. The only problem, one of the few issues I have with this game is that there is no way to get your character to face a particular direction. Like, I would like to be able to turn my character to face back that way because technically, um,. Technically, if I was if I had a like a uh, if I was going to set up a reaction attack, um, it wouldn't work because I'm facing the wrong direction. So there needs to be some modification there to fix that up. Shielded by faith, that's good. None of them are getting close to me. There we go. Okay, I wanted the big guys to get close because I'm going to clobber one of those next. Okay, so let's try the branding smite and then attack him hmm. now branded didn't seem to do a hell of a lot more really Could take out a couple of these little guys easily. I just don't know if it's worthwhile. I can heal myself. None of these spells are really all that useful except... No, I don't want to lose that concentration. So let's take out this little guy. 29 points of damage. Uh, and sure, take. And let's take out you as well. Is there anything else? No. So you've only got to last a few rounds in that battle. Yeah, it's a lot of enemies. You're not expected to defeat them all. Uh, I think 
I mean, the first time I tried it, I actually died. But this is the third time I've done that battle now, and it, it's getting to the point where it's not that hard to stay alive. Um, but you're not expected to win. You're only expected to get the end of whatever round that was, fifth round or something like that. Faint again. I just had a vision. What? A vision? In an instant? I was fighting Sorax, but I wasn't myself. Then who were you? A paladin. Powerful. From Tiamar. Hmm, that is unsettling. Let the crown bearer and the other deputies follow that quest. Find the other gems if you can, but keep us informed. In the meantime, we will formulate a response to the Sorax. Let's vote. Delegates, do you agree? Yes. Your Royal Highness? Oh, pardon me. Yes, I concur. To which proposition, Your Highness? I mean, I. They should go and find the diamonds, the gems. So, resolved. Let it be recorded. Thank you, honored delegates. The council is now in recess. What was that? You had a vision? I can't explain. I, I just feel it. Anyway, we have a new mission. All right then. So where are we going, crown bearer? I think the crown knows. Right, we still have a whole bunch of stuff we want to sell. Let's organize that. And that. We'll give that down to there. That's something to be sold as well. And I think for now we're going to sell that armor because there's nothing we can actually do with it. Um, at least I don't feel like there is. And that goes over to there. You've got a lot of rations there, Harry. Uh, and that's just all of that. So in the crafting, all we can craft at the moment is some more healing potions. So why don't we get you to craft one and you to craft one. Those two cannot. That's fine. Uh, I won't bother talking to him. Uh, we have explored all of that. So we're going to head back to here. Yeah, I liked the Kinetic Knight as well. something new and interesting. Deputies, do you have anything for the circle? Take a look. Stay in the light, deputies. Let's see what you've got to sell. I can't remember what they... Deputies? We do require your services. Just a bunch of scrolls, which are of absolutely no use to us because none of us can use scrolls. So that's a bit of a pain. Well, none of us can use any of those scrolls because they're all wizard scrolls. No reload, hardest difficulty, long play. Well, good luck with that. Uh, what was 
is the next group that I wanted, to, the next faction that I wanted to look at? So we just sold to them. We can't do anything more with them. We can't really do anything more with them. I think we might do the Tower of Knowledge next. Uh, what am I doing? Map. Uh, it's actually over this way. Oh, I thought by no reload you meant that it was going to be a, like an Iron Man playthrough. But if you're dying a lot, it's not going to be that. Deputies, how are you today? Do you have some lovely loot from the Badlands? Indeed. Clear skies to you. Ah, okay, no saves coming. Yeah. Deputies, how are you today? We do require your services. Just scroll crafting. No, thank you. Do we have anything left? Just the Sorakath letter. And who wants that? Okay, I think the only person who will take that is this priest over here. That guy. Uh, yeah. Chaplain Dallin Lark. Clear skies, adventurers. Take a look. Stay in the light, adventurers. And what do you have for me? Clear skies, adventurers. We do require your services. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. Let's clean up that. We have way more food than I really feel like we need. But... We might as well keep it. Um, so we need to follow the crown bearer's intuition. That's fine. Now, what I want to do is just, so in the crafting, Magnesium, Angry Violet, and Galavan Amaranth. I'm thinking about selling everything else. Welcome. Don't need that. Don't want that. Yeah, keep all of that. Yeah, keep all of that. Okay. Don't need that. Don't need that. We need that. Don't need that. All those. All that. We need that. And we need that. Do you have a heavy crossbow at all? Light. No, you don't. But if we pull our equipment, we do have plate armor. 
or half plate. Let's have a look. Let's think about this. So you're our paladin. You're wearing heavy armor, so you could wear plate. And that would get you up to an armor class of 18. You could wear half plate. And that would bump your AC to 17. But we can't afford both. You've already got your leather armor plus one. That's the best armor class you're going to be able to get. And you can wear heavy armor as well. Gonna worry too much about extra bolts for you. You've got enough there. I feel like you've got enough there, and you've got enough there. So I think we're good for ammunition. Welcome to Gorib. Hmm. I don't know. I would really like. like someone to have the better armor. Might as well have just a look in the armor here. But plate mail is so expensive. It's 1650 and there's only one set of it. A half plate, 15 plus the dex bonus. If there was two sets of half plate, or even, no I can't afford, I could, three, I could afford three actually. No, I can't. Sorry, but I could afford two. I could, I would buy both. If there was two sets of those, I would buy them both. So that's 14, that's 15. It's only one extra AC though. But that is, that full plate, that plate is too better than the chain. I feel like I have to buy that for the Paladin. Let's just do it. Let's buy it. Uh, and let's sell that while we're at it. I wish we had just a few more things that we could sell to get that half plate, because that would go... How much are we going to get for that? Only 32. It's not enough. Nowhere near enough. Right. Well, that's fine. So she's got her plate armor now and her greatsword all set, ready to go. Let's just save. Uh, it's over this way, isn't it? The exit.
Start traveling. Might as well do the battle. I don't think it'll be that hard. Having said that, I've been wrong before. Uh, do you have the range? You do. They don't have huge amounts of health. It's in bright light. Why is that a problem? Next time. So for you, that one is not in bright light, but that one is. No quarter given. see that target. Well, in that case, you're going to ready your ranged attack. And then as soon as he gets into range, you're going to miss. Okay. Sure. Shield yourself. I will kill you. Some more rations. Did that get them all? Looks like it. Is there another bag that was... No. One feature I think they need to implement is if someone has been crafting while traveling and they finish crafting, then at the end of the next rest, there should be an option for you to come in and do some more crafting. Because at the moment, there's no way to do it. And well, there is, you have to turn on the feature that allows you to 
um, there's a feature that allows you to basically take control after every rest to do things like, you know, memorize new spells, etc. I can do it at the end of this battle as well. That won't be a problem. But um, it's just a little bit annoying that there's no... Unless you want to micromanage that and have at the end of every rest... And when there's 10 days worth of travel here, 10 rests that you've got to go and click resume over here in after each one. It's a bit, a bit of a nuisance. So who was awake? Harry was. I wonder whether it's worthwhile trying to see if Harry can defeat these guys by himself. Problem is, is he can't get sneak attack. Run while you can. And I've said this one before, but that's another thing this game needs, and that is well actually it's not just this game. Why, were, why was I considered magically asleep? Very interesting. Um, there needs to be... I don't know, some games used to have like a morale system in them. And what I don't see is... Like, you never see... You never see opponents just run away. Now, I can understand ghouls wouldn't necessarily do that, but in some of the fights that we've had against, you know, more reasonable, alive creatures, you know, goblins and things like that, they never want to run away. And that just doesn't seem right to me. Here they are getting attacked by a obviously superior group. And they... They have no desire to, to run away. They're suicidally going to keep attacking, even even when they're down to the last man. And, you know, I, I, I don't see that. It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. And not only would... I mean, there's a little bit of it that is that is done a little bit in Baldur's Gate 3 where there's a couple of fights against the kobold, against the goblins, where once you kill the certain character, they, the rest stop fighting. But it's not... It's not a... It's not a big thing in, in some of the battles. Like, the battle on the bridge, when you're coming into the main... Uh, goblin stronghold and you got all those got all those goblins coming at you across the bridge and then there's the big ogre like once you take that ogre down and kill him i would have thought all the rest of the goblins would have just gone run and screaming because in goblin mentality the only reason they're there and they are so tough and willing to fight is because they've got that great big ogre behind them who you know is is there to take out the really tough guys. You take out the ogre and the rest of them would just run. Uh, and they don't implement that in the in these games very often. Now, having said that, I dislike using, I've said this a million times, but I dislike using spells like fear because for that very reason, your opponents run away and that's a pain to go and track them down um, I much rather have them where I can, you know, where I can get to them without having to run all over the map after them. Um, but it just doesn't seem realistic to have an entire group. Orcs are a little bit different, but even so, once we get down to the last orc, you sort of expect him, unless he knows that the that things are going his way and he's got, you know, a couple of you already injured and for some silly reason he thinks that he can take you still, you would think he would want to run. Um, 
So yeah, anyway. I'm yeah. Sneak attack. You cannot defeat me. And second attack, which won't be a sneak, but will still do a little bit of damage. Very nice. Oh, big hit on Harry. That's alright. We've got plenty of healers here. Okay, who's up next? Seren Ray, our cleric. How about you cast... You're going to be able to get... I don't think... Oh, well, you might. Let's see. Let's try the Bane. It has a range of six, so we can definitely do those two. Can't do you and can't do you. So we'll just proceed with that. So we'll Bane them for now. And one of them saved. All right. Uh, that's the end of your turn. Uh, no sense doing anything else. What if, I'm trying to remember what you've got in the way of spells. Detect magic. True strike. Let's do that. Let's true strike on him so that next round we will definitely get a... Not only will we get a... Um, A sneak attack but we get advantage uh, no we don't want to do that so we'll end our turn yeah that's true but there used to be there used to be a morale system where like you I, I've played games where you have a morale system and every opponent has a certain even your own companions have a certain amount of morale and when certain actions happen they'd have to make a save throw to see whether they were affected by things um and i'd like to see something like that built in not necessarily for your com companions but for the opponents for the enemies to be able to say well you know what that enemy is you know it's they're definitely going to uh and, and different enemies would start with a different morale figure. So they would have a higher or lower DC to use to see if they go and run scared. So basically every time you kill an opponent, they would all have to make a DC check. And based on, there could be bonuses for things like the number of them still alive, right? But as that number dwindles there's more chance that they are going to then run away. Which I know is not really in the rules, but that's how I would implement that. Uh, yes, use a smoke. Because you can. Okay, Harry. You still have advantage. Oh, that's the chieftain there. Right, let's keep going on the chieftain then. Bend the knee or perish. Four hundred kobolds running screaming from one person. He must have made some really good rolls. Okay. We're doing good. Now... Oh, why did I forget to use that? It's an extra attack per round. Have that attack the Chieftain. It missed, that's fine. And you can end your turn. Next turn we will probably... Um... You'll die like the rest. Uh, yeah, next turn we will probably, um, do whole person on the Chieftain. Yep, smite him, and then I'm going to move you around to there. And... Sure. Cool. Okay. Missed 
Lloyd with the great axe, that's good. Harry, keep going. Missed. And one more. Good. Sneak attack. Very nice. Oh, that's not good. Big hit on Harry there. Um, let's cast Hold Person. Uh, yeah, break the bane. I don't care about that. I don't want him. Good. He's paralyzed. Very nice. And then the spiritual weapon can take a hit. Very nice. Uh, you can finish him off. Wait till the next one. And then move to there. So that you can attack him next round. I would get you to heal Harry. But, actually that's the only chance we're going to get to heal Harry, so unfortunately I've got to do it. Lay on hands on Harry, yeah, use the full amount. And then end your turn. Ah, yes, Tabaxi. Haven't played them before. How did you miss? I am unbeatable. He broke the hold person, but that's fine. Because between the three of us and the spiritual hammer. We should be able to take him down this round. Go on. So I'm going to have advantage on that attack. And there you go. Killed him. Very nice. What have we got there? Take that and that. But I don't want that because it... Uh, it weighs a lot, which is sort of a minor consideration, really, I suppose. But, um... We can't go back and sell anything after this. Because once we get to this place, that's as far as anything goes. So, uh... Did you... Yeah, there was stuff on the ground there as well. What's that? More chain mail? No thanks. Pick up the food. So what are you carrying that's too heavy? You just got one too many food. Uh, right, we actually weren't, weren't rested there. So why don't you cure Harry for me? Just in case we come across another battle uh, before the end of the day. Uh, actually, don't leave the area yet. Let's just quick save. And do we need to set up any more crafting? Yes, we can. So let's do that. Craft that. And craft that. There we go. And quick save again. And then let's head on out.
ghouls, hey? Quarter given. Better luck next time. That's how you do it. Okay. Start some more crafting there, start some more crafting there. Uh, actually, how are we doing for XP? We're a, a little way off. 406 more experience points. I don't know why they the game does this you you don't go into this location straight away i could have gone in there at the end of yesterday and then s instead we hang around outside for an entire day before we go in it, it doesn't make sense but i'm sure it's a minor thing i got so much food that it's not a big deal over here but let's just go and do this anyway just so I can say I've done it okay an emerald some more crossbow bolts that's what I meant to do I think that's a special arrow if I remember rightly let's just Make sure that everybody is all good for ammunition. And actually, Let's just uh, let's just put. 
pool all of our healing supplies for a moment and make sure everyone's got a good selection there because quite frankly we pretty much uh, how do we split this again there we go Let's put that with that. So we can basically do one of these each as well. that let's see does that okay got all of that that was just a normal arrow because it went into that pile there so that's an easy way to tell whether it's actually a magical one or not okay I'm going to come over that way and do that. I'll do this first, of course. The gems in the castle? Maybe. It's in that direction. That's a good sized castle. A garrison of two dozen at least. We're not getting in that way. Could we climb up? It's too open out here. We'd be easy targets. We'll have to find another way. We could just show our Legacy Council credentials. Assuming they're law-abiding folk who respect the Council. Not too many of those around here, I'm guessing. Actually, just going in and attacking, I don't think it's actually all that bad. I might even try it this time. Save here. Who's this? Seems to like wolves. Could be a ranger, could be a werewolf, could be something else. You might know something about the castle. It can't hurt to ask. Doesn't really matter which way we do it. Chances Hello. are the same. We come in peace. Can we talk to you? Nope. You come in peace, do you? Then you're the only peaceful things here. Go in peace before I get tired of being peaceful. Keep away from my home, strangers. Okay, Lloyd is up first. I don't think I'm going to get a um, sneak attack against him because he's not being threatened by anybody else. So I have to use it against the wolf. Let's get rid of that wolf. If we can actually hit it. Okay, he is being threatened by somebody else though. So if we can hit him, we're gonna be able to do extra damage. Oh. 
Is that the best you got? shouldn't have done that but yeah. okay I'll take that if I'm gonna get a sneak attack on that I'm not gonna complain I suppose technically Seren Ray can hit him from there. Attack of opportunity, yep, go for it. Dead. Wonderful. He's actually the biggest threat at the moment. Problem is, is we're not going to get sneak attack against him. So let's get rid of the, if we can, get rid Nobody of that wolf. Has your skills. Bravo. Okay. And then I'm going to finally use the shadow dodge and dodge over to here. There we go. Could have moved a lot further than that, but. How about... Uh, no, actually we won't do that. I'd rather not lose the bless. Yeah. Run while you can. not worthwhile moving Harry in. Instead, let's take out that wolf. Another victory. This is destiny. Now we're going to get a sneak attack. And he missed both times. Cammy. Don't bother doing you a smite. Defeat me. I know he, he's got a lot of health, but I don't want to use up all the smites too soon. Okay, Lloyd, you can move to there, and you should get a sneak attack. Good. Keep him coming. There we go. Change back to that. Missed. That's all right. One more. There we go. Sneak attack hit. Very nice. Courage. Uh, 
Very good. Okay, so no longer blessed. That's fine. We do need a little bit of healing there, but I think I might use potions for that, because we've got a few. So, how about... And maybe you can drink another one. And here we go. Not perfect, but not bad either. Come around here. Where is it? What's that? That's part of the dwarf questy thingy. That's useful. because he just used the most healing. And another cure spell. We probably should have used those actually instead of potions. I think we already had a couple there. They would have been better options. It's pretty useless because none of us can cast it. Even though you're a shadow caster, you can't cast things off scrolls, which is a bit of a nuisance. Okay. We have looted all of that. That's not three separate items, is it? No, good, okay. So, I'm pretty sure we've done everything around here that we can. We did loot that, we did loot that, we did loot that, and we did loot that. We just didn't take any of the torches, because we don't want them. G'day St. Salvius, yep, yeah, going good here, how are you doing? of goodies. Can't use that. Golden Dragon Statuette. 
I don't know, that looks like a golden bunny rabbit to me. His eye and his nose and his little mouth, he just got weird ears, that's all. This way. See if we can talk to this dwarf. Hmm. Been getting that a few times now. This you can't save now. When it doesn't make a lot of sense because nothing's really happening. But anyway. Switch back to my missile weapons. Once again, it doesn't want me to save. There we go. Uh, I won't talk to him just yet. Let's go in here first. What have we got? Come on, get rid of the roof. Yeah, I've got a K, I've got to go in like that, do I? Javelin. It's not really useful. Okay, let's come back out. Something's giving me a bit of lag there. Come on. There we go. Okay, we do have to do this interaction. Look, what's that? Some kind of incorporeal beast? Undead, most likely. Right, let's talk to him. I'll take information where I can get it, even from a ghost. Okay. Hey you, ghost! Get over here! <laughs> what are you gonna do, kill me? Ha! Just leave me alone. Okay, I do want to do this interaction because it's it's fun. Well, it's not fun, but it is a it's an interesting little thing there. I'll take information where I can.
Hey, you, ghost, get over here. Hey, that worked. All right. There's no need to be rude. What do you want? What can you tell us about the castle? Who lives there? Two women, a high elf but living and quite old. She's a necromancer of some sort. And the other? Once human, but definitely undead now. The Defiler, I think. And she had a gang of ghouls with her. Horrid beasts. I avoided them. Is there anyone else? There's a garrison. Skeletons, mostly. I avoided them, too. I think we know enough now. Thank you. Actually, I was hoping to ask you a greater favor. A favor? How can we help you? I was killed in this cemetery. My bones are here somewhere. And you'd like us to take them home for burial so you can find peace? Well, yes. But they got a little scattered. The walls, you see. Now that's just rude. As far as I can feel, they are in three separate places. Well, that's just you all over. You can rely on us. It's not just about burial. Though, of course, I'd be grateful for that, too. Since I was killed, I carried on studying this necropolis, but I can't touch material things, including pens, so I couldn't update my journal. Now, that's what I call a work ethic. And since my spirit is bound to my mortal remains, I can't return to Kerr Kipling to report in person. But if you take my bones back, perhaps my spirit could travel with them. And the knowledge I've recovered won't be lost. We'll do as you ask, Angby Cramson of the Antiquarians. And how did you find his name out? He didn't tell us his name. That's fine. Okay, so... We've got two of the three lots that we have to get. The other lot's somewhere in the castle, I believe. Hideous laughter. Can't do anything with that. Okay. Outside graves were likely for servants and guards. The mausoleum holds a few burials, but its main purpose is to hide this secret entrance. The most important graves are in the catacombs down below. And by important, you mean rich. over to there and then we're going to move forward like that because otherwise we wouldn't be facing in the direction that I wanted to be facing in. I hope they fix that soon. Uh, yeah, Sne well you ain't going to sneak but you know, critical miss as well, that doesn't help. thought it was going to uh, sort of give me more options before it cast that 
I wasn't sure I really wanted to do it, but it's too late now. Oh, that was stupid. Bend the knee or perish. I should have attacked one of these guys because I would have got a sneak attack on them. Silly me. Okay, switch to that. You can also turn undead, can't you? You can. We're not gonna. You can turn undead over. Well, that says. 30 squares, but. I don't know if that's right. Because hers didn't say 30 squares, it was only 6. sure if that was going to do any good, but I felt that we do know that certain creatures don't oh, like the light. You can take it. Uh, no, Kemi can't take that, or at least not much more of it. <laughs> Missed. Damn it. Come on. There we go. She missed her turn. Damn it. Um, I feel like I've got to do this. I will not forget this. Yeah, you better not. Yeah, use your shield spell. There we go. That's what it's there for. None of these guys have even been injured. They have now. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like two-weapon combat for any rogue is way better. Um, I gave both of these guys the law... Was it the law bringer or the lawman or whatever it was? Um, so that they could use martial weapons. And it doesn't matter whether I'm using martial weapons on both of them. But Lloyd is using a rapier. No, Lloyd didn't get, a, didn't get that. He's using the default rapier that he came with. But... I gave him cell swords so that he could get medium armor. I think that is a good option, but I wish I had uh, a pair of short swords for him to use rather than that rapier because getting that extra attack is just so worth it, I feel. Um, Don't bother smiting, but... Okay, that's his shield done. Yeah, I, I, basically, I'm at the point now, if we do find some short swords, I'm going to swap them on Lloyd. Because that extra attack per round is definitely, definitely a good thing. Um... Seren Ray, I need you to heal. Kenny. Thank you. 
thank you and in fact oh you can't I thought you'd have a a um, a bonus action where I could use that other spell but I guess not maybe you're out of spells for the day already uh, yeah move you to there so you can attack him very nice once more onto the breach you can't win very good let's take that guy out because he's already injured no just do a normal hit thank you Well, I don't know about that, but you're doing well. There we go. Oh, and we got our level. I was just going to say that I'm thinking I might head back out and go to that rest area to rest up. Because I think most of the guys... Uh, sorry, I think the cleric has used up. Oh no, she hasn't. She's only used two of her slots for the day. I don't know why she couldn't cast. Uh, which one is it? There's one of these that she can cast as a... As a bonus action, I thought. Maybe it's... I thought it was healing word that they could she could use as a bonus action. Yeah, it's a bonus action. So why couldn't she use healing word after casting cure wounds in that last battle? Okay. We're gonna quick save. We're gonna just have a quick look around. Is there any way to get up here? Yeah, some of us can. I underestimated you. Is My there apologies. Any, is there anything up here that we want? We can't get up there. We can get up there, but there's nothing to get up there. Oh. There is that right there. I thought there was something up here. To be able to look at. And look at that, 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 that. Um, yeah, we'll take that, get rid of that, take that, and we don't want that. It's a martial weapon, can't use it. That's what I wanted to check. We didn't have any other short swords, did we? No. I don't think there's any lying around outside at the moment either. I'm tempted to come over in these areas, but I think I want to go and rest first. So let's go and do that. Let's get back out. There we go. So, that's not what I want to do. I want to go to the map. There's a candle in that basket. Oh, how... Was there something to... Oh, we can go in there then. That's right, we didn't. That sack is empty. That basket is empty. 
That task is empty. Torches. And more torches. Okay, yeah, there wasn't any short swords here. Okay, we're going to go back to the rest area. And everybody's going to put on their melee weapons just in case. There we go. We're going to do a full save because we're just about to get a level, so why not? Go. Uh, what level are we now? Three. Yeah, okay. I was going to say this will be our last level, but it won't. We should be able to get to level five. And before we do this level up, I'm going to take a really quick break and get a drink. Be right back. Okay, we are back. Start our long rest. Okay, increase in ability score or bonus feet. Let's have a look at bonus feats. I could increase charisma to 18, which would help with spell casting DCs against spells to be resisted but I don't think I've got many spells that are really great for that now That's no use. Potent cantrip, no. Should not be displayed. I'm so tempted to take that. Not really. Uh, no. Hard to kill. I think would be good. Acute... Having someone in the party with acute senses would be nice. That I'm very, very tempted to do. The other one is Enduring Body, which gives us more hit points. So does... Well, no, we're 
bus doesn't. That's right. Uh, and I could also take Armor Master, which would just give me one extra AC. Um, that might be interesting as well. Uh, we've already got Wisdom Saving Throws. And we've got Charisma Saving Throws. I think I'm going to... Like, the other one is hard to kill. That would be good too, but I don't... I'm not expecting to need it. Doesn't mean I won't need it, but... I think I should be okay that it's not going to be a major problem. So I'm thinking Enduring Body or Acute Senses would be the best thing to take. But I might get one of the rogues to take Acute Senses. So let's get Enduring Body. That just gives you a little bit more hit points. What do we go up to? Well, it's not showing us it. It should have... We should have gone beyond 40. I guess we'll see what we see. Um, that hasn't changed at all. So I'm going to leave that alone. Your hit points should be more, but we'll see what happens in, the, in a minute. Maybe it's bugged and didn't work properly. I'm pretty sure I've used it on someone else before, though. Level up our rogue. You get an extra spell slot. I don't feel like potent cantrip is useful for you. I could take an ability score bonus and increase your intelligence, but increasing your dex to 20 is probably worth it at the moment. You get one more spell from the subclass. Color spray. Okay, Harry. I feel like I want the dex increase for you as well. Just much more, one more, that little bit of extra chance that you're going to hit and do sneak attacks much better than anything else that you can do at the moment. And then if we level up our Cleric, what does she get? A second level... One cantrip and a second level spell. Let's get her to take a bonus feat. And we'll get her to take acute senses so that she's the one who wakes up when we're in camp. So she gets another cantrip. She can take resistance or guidance. Neither of them I'm really happy with. But I'll take resistance. Oh, that's all she got was a new... Oh, she got one more second level spell slot. Right. So... We get those two, and we've chosen those. I think we've got... No, we've got eight spells that we can prepare for the day. That's right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... We don't use Guiding Bolt very much. I don't really want to use Inflict Wounds, so let's get rid of that. Um, that one... Yeah, that's right. That one's the culmination of all of those spells. Let's take Blindness. We may or may not use it. Validate. 
So I don't feel like that ability actually worked to give us extra hit points. I could be wrong, but anyway. What am I doing? There's a quick travel to there, which I should have just used. There we go. And then let's go. We didn't search in here properly, did we? So let's do that. See if we can get that open. We can. What's in here? Wait, no, don't be climbing up on That's the. Impressive. You think it's impressive, but it was actually pretty silly, really. There was absolutely no reason to do that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come around here. come through here and we're going to open that up does anyone need stuff. In we go. This drain could be a way in. Into what? The bathroom's one way and the cesspool the other? Suppose we get down there and it's just six inch pipes. Then we'll look for another way in. But let's try it first. I just realized how silly her helmet is. Having your ear sticking out like that. You're asking for it to be amputated. Because any strike that comes in at that angle is going to just skip down. Anything that's, that's sort of... Anything that's a little bit more acute than 45 degrees. If it's coming in at 45, it might skip up. But anything just a little bit more acute is going to come straight down and it's going to lop an ear off.
tell me we're not going back in there. Uh, we are going back in there at some point. Because we can, more than anything. Okay, another revivify, which hopefully we won't need. Crafting fireballs, we'll learn it, but we can't use it. And raise the dead. Okay. Well, you just don't put ears outside of the helmet. Your ears are inside. I understand why they're doing it. They're trying to get the idea that, you know, that will allow you to hear properly. But um, no one ever made helmets like that. Because you're basically just, yeah, you're going to lose your ear no matter what. Anytime someone does any sort of swing near your head, it wouldn't even matter if you were using, like, a bludgeoning weapon. Anytime you swing near your head, it's liable to rip your ear off. this over here if you don't want to go through the door or you're not sure how to go you know you can't you don't have anyone who can get the door open yeah um, can we get up on there We can sneak and get up under there. That might give us a good advantage. And then how about... From the sneak... Why is it not selecting... Anybody else? Uh, no, that's right, it's doing... No, oh, it's doing that because of that. Lloyd, can you get a sneak attack on him? because you're all the way over there. How about... No, you can't get a sneak attack. You can get one on... Won't let me. Why won't it let me target him? There. No. You gonna get that sneak attack or not? Why was that not a sneak attack? I had stealth. Anyway, um, I don't think you, oh you do, he's unlit. And I managed to stay in stealth. Can you hit any of these guys? For some reason that guy is considered lit. I don't know why. I'm not going to complain about it. One point of damage. Okay. Uh, cast a light for us, Seren Ray. She still managed to succeed a stealth check, even though she just lit up like a Christmas tree. Okay. What have we got? You still can't get him. He's in half light. And he's unlit, unlit. I must just be beyond the range of that light. You know, those two lights there, I guess. So let's take another attack. Well struck. And you should have got. I thought he was still in stealth. He should have got 
sneak attack damage from that. But anyway, uh, I'm lit. He's already damaged, so we'll take a shot at him. Take that. And he's got one hit point left. Okay. Now he has no hit points left. I mean, man, if I had a fireball right now, that would be so much fun. But of course, we don't have anything like that. So, these are all well lit now. I would have thought that he was technically half undercover because I have to shoot through the deck to get to him. Take that guy on first. There we go. doesn't seem to care that I'm shooting through the deck, so I'll let it. What about you? Oh, you cannot see that target. Well, that's good. That That's actually correct. to ready a melee attack because these guys are going to start climbing up and I want to hit them the moment they get up there uh, we're not going to bother smiting I am unbeatable. thankfully they can only fit a couple of guys up here Maybe they can fit a third one up there. Yeah, they can. Oh, and he's going to move over. Right. Clobberin' time. I take no prisoners. He's going to come up that side. Very good. And there's just enough room for that last one right there. Sneak attack, dead. Sneak attack, dead. Impressive move, my friend. Really? All she did was just swing her sword horizontally at the at the ghoul until she hit him. Okay, yeah. and the last one will climb up. And he tries to knock down Seren Ray and fails. Harry will put a cloth yard shaft through his wishbone and almost kill him. Lloyd will finish him up. Okay. Nothing to search amongst those bodies. Let's have a look around here. One of them did actually drop something. An arrow. While I think of it, we will 
refill our quivers. So the way the sneak attack works is if you have if you okay it doesn't matter where I am with a ranged attack if one of my companions is threatening the enemy so one of my companions is within melee distance so the enemy could be there there, there, or there, then ha Harry, for example, could shoot at them. Actually, if they were there, Harry couldn't shoot at them. Well, he could shoot at them, but he shoots at them with disadvantage because they're so close. They're in melee range. But um, if one of my companions is within melee range of the enemy, then with a bow, I can shoot and get... Um, sneak attack damage. The same for melee. So uh, Lloyd here could get a sneak attack against an opponent who was there. He'd also get sneak attack against someone who was there because uh, Cammy is within melee range of, of that one as well. It's only that square right there that Lloyd cannot get sneak attack on because neither Seren Ray nor Cammy is in melee range of that opponent but there 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 and there Lloyd could get melee attacks uh, sneak attacks melee sneak attacks against those opponents but Henry would be able to get a sneak attack against an opponent there because technically they're within melee range of Lloyd so that's how the sneak attacks work you're also my understanding, anyway, of the sneak attack ability is that when you have advantage on an opponent, you get a sneak attack also. And my understanding is, is that if you attack when you are stealthed, you're supposed to have advantage on the opponent because they don't know where the attack is coming from. Um, so that's why it seemed strange to me that when we were attacking up here and we were attacking the guys down there, we were all stealthed and we didn't get a sneak attack against those guys when we really should have. So whether that's just not implemented properly or not yet, I don't know. Greater Healing Potion. That's nice. And look, there's one right there. That's a Greater Healing Potion. We shall have to make an effort to identify that. Uh, let's give that to Harry to carry. And we'll read that. There we go. Um, you're not using the right weapon. Neither are you. You are. You aren't. There we go. That. Let's open this door. Oh, you failed. Well, let's hope Harry can do it. There we go. If Lloyd can't, Harry can. Uh, there's actually nothing worthwhile in this room. Is that right? There's actually there's nothing here. There's not even. Maybe, can we find anything hidden in here? You can't use, ah, oh, there we go, there is that. That's right, that's Lazara's room, and there is that magnificent dagger, which is also magical, and a silver brooch, which I'm pretty sure is not. Oh, we do have 44 hit points. Good. We did get our... Somehow, after something happened, we got our extra hit points on our Paladin. 
on Cami. Thank you for pointing that out. I don't know when that happened. It would be interesting to go back and look at the VOD and work out at what point that uh, worked. But anyway, we... Why can I not do that as a ritual? I've done it as a ritual before. I don't want to waste the spell slot. I don't know why it won't let me cast that as a ritual. I'm positive I've cast that as a ritual before. Not because we're sneaking. Anyway, let's not worry about it. Let's move on. Unfortunately, this light spell is not going to be the best option going forward into here. Because we're going to get attacked from that direction and from that direction. And the light spell is only going to make it easier for them to attack us. Uh, we can't see the guy over there. Where? There's someone up there who's... Oh, right there is a zombie. So, we do have... Stealth, let's see if it'll work this time. Yes, we did get the sneak attack. Very nice. I don't know why we didn't previously. Probably because we had disadvantage because they were so poorly lit. Yeah, we get advantage because we're stealthy. Very good. But we still didn't do a sneak attack. Oh no, we did. It only did the sneak attack damage. It didn't... And our sneak attacks are now 2d6 as well. So we're doing even more sneak attack damage. What else have we got? We got another. We got the Dark Apprentice. Where? Is that the Dark Apprentice over this side? There was. I'm positive there used to be a Dark Apprentice over here somewhere. So. You can't hit any of them. Let's be a little bit strategical then. Let's move you over to there. Oh, you might actually be able to hit one of them now. You can take on that zombie. Do it. You've got disadvantage because he's so far away, but you still hit him for five points of damage. And you manage to keep your stealth. Uh... How about we move you over to there? Because you're our light source. But really, I'm doing that because I just want to spread out the group. So if these if these two dark apprentices try and do something to affect us as a you know area of effect spell, I guess is what I'm getting at, then you're going to ready a ranged attack. Oh, which means you lose your stealth. No longer surprise. Is that going to give me any cover? That isn't. That's a little bit annoying. Let's move you to there. And then you... Unlit. Unlit. Let's take a shot at him. He's already injured. Run while you can. 
any extra damage we can do to ki eventually kill him off will be a good thing. Uh, I know it seems strange, but let's move you against the wall there. Just keep us spread out a little bit. And you still can't see him, you can't see him, and you can't see him. So you're going to ready a ranged attack as well. See, they're using Chill Touch because we're so spread out. He's unlit, but we'll take our chance. Almost feels like it's worthwhile moving Seren Ray closer. But let's have a think about this. Turn Undead, Preserve Life, Shield of Faith, Healing Word, no. Ready a ranged attack. He's being sensible though, he's not moving out of there. Dead. Beautiful. And acid arrow at Harry. Damn it. That's gonna keep doing damage until I can save against it. So I'm not happy about that. Unlit. He moved. He's coming up to an area where he's going to be a bit more lit, I think, because of that light source there. So we might keep attacking him. I think you'll have the ability to shoot. Why can't you shoot at him? Cannot see the target. Uh, none of those. Well... That'll work. No, it won't. Okay. Ready a ranged attack then. Okay. Cannot gain hit points. And he ran away, the sneaky little bugger. Take a shot at him. Missed. Next time. Seren Ray. I feel like we need to flush these guys out. Get a bit more light up near them. Because we don't have any other way to light the place up. We can't do that. far can you hmm, maybe I don't know I'm not sure about that let's see what else we got can't bane them they're too far away light can't be used outside of your inventory I sort of feel like it's a risk Move you to there. That way we light up these guys. And now you get a decent shot at that one. Don't lose hope. Okay. Okay, Harry's in a bad way. He lost the rest of his turn. Uh, we're going to have to heal him ASAP. Okay. Good. That better that, I was just going to say, that better miss. But it didn't. Uh... Can't lay on hands on him because he's already down. Uh, move closer. Well, hang on, maybe I couldn't lay hands on him because he was too far away. There we go. Yeah, do the whole the whole kit and caboodle. And then do you have any other healings? You don't. Let's put a shield of faith on him because they're picking on him. 
he technically has the lowest AC of any of our characters. That's why they're picking on him. It's also, I should have probably put him over where Lloyd is and swapped the two of them around, to be fair. Okay, let's hold you. Very good. And you tried Ray of Enfeeblement and failed. Yeah, Harry's still taking that acid damage. Um, best person to do that. I think from now on I'm going to get Seren Ray to light up something in Cammy's equipment, not her own. Um, and that way Cammy can be the one who moves forward in the in the battle. And that way Seren Ray can stay back and heal other people. I think the best option here is to move Seren Ray up and actually you're kidding me the thing that we lit up was the crossbow how annoying is that I'm gonna have to light up next round Gonna have to light up, cast a light Once cantrip again. Let's move you forward because now that that one is threatened, we can get attacks of opportunity against. Well, maybe not because they're not lit. Let's see what happens. Acid arrow at that close range? That was a big gamble from you. Let's move you closer. Good hit. Okay, you... will light up your weapon. Now... He still missed. Yeah. We're all half elves. You can't make us sleep. Perfect. Um. Just hit him. Just like that. And Harry, how about you finish it this time, please? Thank you. Right. Anything there? Just an arrow. Goes to Harry, because he's the only one using them. Shield of Faith goes for another nine minutes. Uh, got a body, we got a yeah, body there. Nothing special. What do we got here? Unidentified potion, some more scales, just a whole bunch of more. Okay, remarkable arrows. We'll need to look at those. Okay, there's a 
Okay. really implemented yet. That's. I feel like that's almost worthwhile giving to Lloyd. Almost. Uh, no, everybody up there. So I think we can loot that bed. more food and that and that is there anything else there no click on that one it wants to say so let's use detect magic and then we will use identify on Is that the dagger is there? It is a dagger plus one. If I give that plus another dagger to Lloyd, that might be a good option. Uh, we need to cast another identify. And we'll identify those arrows so we can give those to Harry. We won't use them just yet. But if we at least give them to Harry, he's got them to use. Uh, we need to identify the rest of these. Now, I think... Is there anything else anyone else was carrying that needs to be identified? No. And there's nothing there. Good. So, I think... Why can Harry not... I'm positive I've used the ritual with Harry to do identify. 100% positive. Anyway, a quick save. We will rest. Yep. Uh, burp, 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 start the long rest. They're not going to change any of that. Although, that might be worthwhile. And I'm thinking of doing the same for you to have detect magic as well. We don't seem to use that. So if I take that, does that now no you now have the ritual maybe that's what I was seeing previously maybe it was Saren Ray who had the ritual because he doesn't and that's a bit of a, a nuisance okay let's come down here Damn it, I meant 
to. Well, yeah, you can keep doing that. I don't know why. Oh, it's because sleep doesn't have a target. We shouldn't be very easy to see either because there's basically so little light in here. Uh, you're not going to be able to hit any. Oh. You can shoot at that guy, wherever the hell he is. Let's take the chance. And you hit him! Well struck! Well struck indeed, Cammy. End the turn. You can keep casting sleep until... You go blue in the face. I'm going to ready another ranged attack because these zombies here are going to come into range any minute. I think what I'll do is you can... Damn it. I didn't set up the weapons. You can ready a melee attack because if these guys get into range, you can do that. Why did that not be a sneak attack? That should have been a sneak attack. Oh, because she doesn't have a bow. She had her bow out. That technically isn't threatening that. That's why it wasn't a sneak attack. Uh, Saren Ray's turn. Yeah. Dark Apprentice, try another sleep. Go on. No, you're doing a chill touch. Okay, you missed by a wide, wide margin. Okay, we're not going to use light here because that's only going to be a disadvantage to us. Okay, switch to that. I know he's unlit, but we do have dark vision. That should mean that I can see him up close. Unless they're saying because they're zombies they have lower body temperature. But it depends on... It depends on... Uh, you know, sometimes they've said that uh, dark vision is like thermal vision. And other times, there's another type of dark vision, which is just light enhancement, which I think they often call, like, star vision, um, which is, yeah, it just enhances any light, even starlight and stuff like that. And so sometimes they say that dark vision in these games is more the enhanced light vision, not, not thermal vision. Um, I don't think we should have a disadvantage attacking at that, at that range. Zombies coming. Another Dark Apprentice taking a shot with Chill Touch and hitting. No, missing. Good. Who was he going for? Cammy. Yeah, she's got an armor class of 18. That was no way that was going to hit. Okay. You can get sneak attack on either of these guys, even though they're unlit. No, that means you won't get sneak attack. Damn it. You cannot defeat me. 
I might move him to there so he can actually get melee attacks next turn. I could have done a, I could have done a second attack. Damn it. I think technically in the spirit of the game I should not have been allowed to do that second attack. Because I swapped weapons. Baldur's Gate 3 actually counts swapping weapons as a bonus action. I believe. Where they don't in this game. You can still only swap weapons once, but it doesn't use your bonus action. Which I think is closer to the actual 5th edition rules, if I remember rightly. Another victory. This and is destiny. Dead. zombie out there somewhere. Name is with chill touch. So tempting to cast light. But that will just mean that they get advantage. Let me just check something. If I go here and cast light, good. I can then choose. Ah, I can't choose someone else's gear though. Oh no. I did. I cast it on her... S on her sword. For some reason I cast it twice. I double clicked. That's a bug. Alright. It's actually not going to be good for us, but the idea is... Oh, they cast sleep. Good. Um, the idea is, is that once we kill this guy... Like this... wasn't enough to kill him. I should have used smite. I want to move her forward and bring the light with her. Bringing the light into the darkness. All that type of stuff. So we'll put up with the dark apprentices actually being able to hit us for once, which isn't great. Um... But it means we will be able to hit these guys right in front of us. Despite the fact, as I said before, I don't think we should have disadvantage on those rolls. Let's get him out of the way if we can. Good. No, he's got one hit point left. Damn it. Uh, I'm going to switch to that to my mace just felt like it was a waste of a crossbow bolt to do one point of damage to take him out missed again with chill touch you can take it uh cammy is fine but lloyd does need some healing no uh yes yes let's do it that way I was gonna get. I was gonna say no because she should attack and get rid of this guy, but then she 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 can't move through that area because she's threatened by that guy. So that probably is the better option. Uh, yeah, cast the magic missile. Uh, sorry, the shield because that'll protect you from. Oh well, you didn't need to worry about that. Sleep's not going to bother us. Okay, Harry. Beautiful, and then. Move there, Harry. 
and finish off that guy too for us if you can. Good. Now, uh, Harry, you can still move. Let's move you to there. For the moment, let's get your bow out because these guys actually look a little bit lit. It says that they're not, but look, he's stand. This one here is standing right next to a table that has candles on it, and for some reason, he's not lit. Okay, let's do a dash and get you all the way up there to threaten that guy. Is there a power? No, you don't want to use that. And you don't want to use... Oh, I should have used the cunning action to do the dash. I would have still actually been able to attack. I didn't think. Uh, silly me. Um, let's just move you to there. I could do like whole person or something on these guys, but how about we do, we haven't used blindness yet, how about we use, oh no, for some reason we can't do blindness, out of range, out of range, okay, abort, uh, what's the range on whole person, 12, let's whole person on him. Wonderful. And that was the right person to do it on too. Now, you can dash in and you can get to to there and threaten him. And that, what that then means, even though you can't attack him this round, it means Lloyd is ready to go. Attack of opportunity. Yes. And yes. Uh, no, don't worry about that smite. Perfect. But that was a sneak attack which killed. Okay, you can get over to there. And then you have advantage on that attack. Because he's held. So that does a sneak attack. Uh... some reason I can't climb and move to there in one action. So let's get the crossbow out and finish it. Dead. And there we go. And then we get this interaction. Who are you? What do you want? Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, it does look like they can cast all day long, and it is a little bit annoying, but I think if we looked at that, there was really only about, you know, four or five rounds of combat there, and if you look at my cleric, for example, she can cast at the moment, I think, three second level spells and four or five first level spells, so as long as you manage it properly... You do have a few spells that you can cast there. Um, and there were two of them, so that's why it seems like there was a lot of spells coming at us. Um, to we meet need your, to master. Consult your master. about an ancient magical artifact. All we need is to talk to him, and then we'll be on our way, and you'll never see us again. I can't get you in to see the Master, but I can help. There are some things you should know. What things? If you want to talk to Mardrag, you'll have to get past Aksha. Who's Aksha? A defiler. She lives upstairs. She turned up a few years ago, seemed interested in the work, offered to help out. And suddenly she'd installed herself upstairs, and no one talked to the Master except through her. I haven't seen Mardrag face to face since she got here. She says she takes messages to him, and she brings messages back, but they don't sound like him. I know. Knew him. He was my mentor, my teacher. She's holding him prisoner, I'm certain. So we'll have to go through her? If you can. She's got a pack of ghouls. 
and those defileth powers of hers are no joke either. We've tried using force before, more than once, but I got sick of losing people. Thanks for the warning. Now, suppose we do manage to reach Master Mardracht. What's the best way to approach him? Hard to say. The Cataclysm hit him hard, and then Aksha. Who knows what she's done to him? The stairs will take you to her apartment. Good luck getting past her. Okie dokie. So, is there anything... Yeah, there is stuff around here we can loot. Whoops, let's go as a group, shall we? Expeditious Retreat. I don't think any of us can use that. Silk Scarf. That's just junk. That and some more rations. Now, I was going to give that and that. To you. Not, not great amount of amounts of damage, but... It's two attacks per round that we can use for um, sneak attacks. And that is the main thing. Now, let's see what's in that. Scroll of Identify, which I don't think he can actually use. A bronze statuette. And more food. Search that body down there. Two more daggers. Don't think I'll bother taking them, but we'll take the chalice. What's down there? Ooh, a gold bracelet. And more food. Really? You're going to run all the way around? My apologies. Okay. I think this is probably a fairly good place to leave the stream for the day. So let's do a full save. And thank you very much for joining me. I think we're... No, we're gonna, we've got ages to go before we get our next level. I'm surprised we'll get our next level in this. Something feels a little bit off, because normally you get to fifth level before you get done. Thanks for that, St. Salvius. But yeah, we'll leave it here, and we'll continue on next time, and uh, have the nice big fight with the vampire. Or defiler, as they're calling it in this game, but it's a vampire as far as I'm concerned. So thank you everybody, and uh, catch you all later.